Hi, Roscoe. Hi, chickens. Hi, Roach. Hi, Pig. <laughs> hey, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play here in Minecraft. Pocket Edition slash Windows 10. Today, we are building a barn. Yes, we already have a barn, but this is going to be a different barn. So, um, I'm always needing wood in this world. And this is my area where I always come to get wood. I come out here with a crap load of saplings, a bunch of, a bunch of bone meal, and just start going ham at growing trees. And it's annoying because when I leave, I don't run into this area anymore. So there's always leaves hanging out here. And I just about got all the leaves away now from like a long time ago when I bone mealed all this. So <laughs> yeah, it's getting pretty annoying. So today we're building a barn and we're going to start on our auto tree farm. Uh, so this is going to be pretty exciting. This is going to be my main source of wood gathering. Uh, and this is the perfect area to do it because it's a nice open spot. Um, and this is where I always come to. <laughs> cut down trees <laughs> um, so right back here I have a little thing oh look I forgot about that my TNT launcher that was for 4th of July I believe because we didn't have fireworks yet oh Liam's already over here you're already getting ready to work awesome no he won't be working he'll just be watching me um, I went out and gathered some acacia because we're gonna be building this barn out of acacia we're gonna make an orange barn <laughs> um, and I think I want to go like right here we're gonna be doing a lot around here today making the paths nice and everything I got to find a spot for the auto tree farm but as of right now I'm gonna go ahead and clear out some stuff and then I'll see you guys in a second okay just my luck starts raining as soon as I get done going to sleep oh I hate that <laughs> have you guys noticed this I have noticed an increase uh, I mean it's not as much right now but oh my gosh have mobs been like passive mobs been spawning like crazy I at least had like 10 sheep five cows and five pigs and a couple chickens over here and I keep slaughtering them and now my food chest way up in my house is loaded with food <laughs> um, I don't I mean I don't have a problem with this but it's just insane I think the like the spawning rate is way too high right now <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go ahead and build kind of the frame of this um, it's quite a big barn the this barn isn't going to have much of a use It's mainly just to hold wood like I like displaying my wood like realistically rather than sitting all in a chest I don't know. I'm weird like that <laughs> So, um, yeah, I think this is a great spot. I'm gonna go ahead and start building it out Okay, I got the dimensions the range should go away. Bye. Oh, pfft. I was abrupt. <laughs> All right. So here's the layout. Um, I think it'll look really good with orange wood. I've already built it in creative mode on my test world, and it looks awesome. And I'm inspired by this by a real barn I saw out in the country the other day, <laughs> and it looks awesome. So, um, well, the w real one did. I don't know if this one will turn out looking awesome. But um, so the whole front face right here is going to be 19 blocks long, and the opening, which is right here, is 7 blocks long. Same on the, uh, same on the, same on the other side. Don't you hate getting interrupted? <laughs> the whole thing is 38 blocks long. It's twice the size as the width. So uh, if you want to build this, there you go. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and start building it upwards now. I hope, actually, I won't have enough blocks. <laughs> I really, no, I won't. Because this is going to be a very tall and long barn. Oh, boy. Um, I think I want to build the roof out of normal oak, like slabs. So I think that'll look good kind of acacia oak or no no that's not oak just acacia wood planks and then oak wood planks yeah let's give it a try so many animals just leave me alone <laughs> They keep coming over here. It's insane. Uh, that's what it looks like so far. <laughs> I kind of like the shape. Get. Get. Oh, I should probably be using my flame sword so I can cook them, but I don't care. There we go. Yeah, so as you can see, it has a weird shape. Uh, these ones are going to be slabs and go up ever so slightly. And then these ones are going to be normal stairs. So if you can kind of imagine that, well, you'll see after I kind of get the roof on. Would you leave me, peace? Leave me pe leave me in peace. <laughs> Guys, guess what? I meant to start off the episode talking about this. Well, most of you already know. I should have known in the last episode, but... If you follow me on Twitter. Uh, okay, so is it in-game? Yes. Cheats! Activate cheats. If I activated cheats, I get 
coordinates, my number one feature I've always wanted in this game. And you know why they put it under ad activate cheats? Because these new devs think it's cheating. Well, how in the freaking world <laughs> would they think coordinates are cheating? Like, I don't understand. I don't get what's going through their head when they think coordinates is cheating. Coordinates are meant to mark a location so you can return there. It's, an oh my god. I just, my head, the biggest like brain fart in the like i know never mind <laughs> i i was so mad when i i saw a tweet saying it's they consider it cheating like i don't understand i couldn't think of a way it could be considered cheating eeyore what are you doing um unless you guys can think of a way it's been a normal minecraft forever and it's served us in so many good ways that help us out such as my adventure log and whatnot and then they just rip it out of Minecraft. It's like, I don't know if I like the direction Minecraft is going. I, I'm not a huge fan of these new devs. And not only because of this, because of a lot of things. A lot of things are changing in weird ways, and I don't know. Maybe they're just doing it for marketing, making that moolah. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, that kind of sucks to see that that is only going to be available if I activate cheats. And yes, I did have the option to turn cheats on, but I do not want to. Um... The only reason I had the option to do that is because I've been in creative in this world to fix bugs. But no, this is a 100% survival world, so I will not do that. I'm sorry, I just don't want to do that. <laughs> Maybe in the future they'll change it. I am not sure. If not, then I guess we are never going to have coordinates. <laughs> oh, it kind of sucks. Oh, well. I'm going to continue building my orange barn. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of like it. I don't know what I'm going to do about these holes here. I guess I can't put acacia slabs under them. I guess I can just do this, maybe. I don't know. if It might look weird. <laughs> we can give it a try, though. Yeah, I guess it'll look all right. Yeah. Yeah, I, I probably will. <laughs> but let me know what you guys think. Do you think there's a good color pattern? <laughs> I don't know why it took me so long in creative mode to figure out a color pattern. I've never actually used acacia wood. And most barns are kind of that reddish kind of tint, you guys think. They, they always paint their wood kind of that red. And this kind of looks like a faded old barn color. And we are going to tear it up a bit. It's not going to be looking brand new, even though... It would look kind of good brand new because it is going to be a brand new barn. <laughs> um, I would like to take some like pieces out of it, make the roof kind of falling in in some places. But all in the inside here is just going to be like full of lumber and whatnot and just like bone meal for our tree farm. And I think in back there is where I'm going to put my automatic tree farm. <gasps> oh, I thought of something. Uh, I won't talk about it till later. All right. Um, now I want to actually go ahead and get my path going here. So as you know, we do have some paths all throughout our world here but um there's a nice little spot right through here i'd like to make one kind of swerve around the trees and come through here and go to the barn and i also want to work on our sunflower path it is just ugly <laughs> this was made a long time ago and the path was not good as you can see it's just kind of eh i just want to rework it kind of through here and kind of fix up this sunflower area is it i don't know i want to make it wider i'm going to get working on that Okay, we got some paths now. This kind of just goes through here and circles or curves around there. Right, I might do something somewhere around here in the future to make it look pretty good. Like maybe plant some like a big flower garden thing ac across this whole hill. That'd look kind of cool. I don't know. Small details like that. Um, this is a three wide path and it kind of breaks up through here. I don't know if I want the path. I might make a little path through here, but then again, I'm going to be filling this place up with wood most likely so and the idea i was having earlier that I was like oh that might be a good idea um in my tree farm my automatic tree farm you know it pushes all the wood into one big location like one big block what if i built like the tree farm over here and then it pushes all the wood into this barn that would be kind of i would have to redesign the barn though i don't want to do that ah <laughs> I'm out of wood. Dang it. <laughs> huh? I got a good portion in. Um, that's a lot of slabs and stairs. 
That's about three stacks of acacia planks. Each wall is. And, uh, yeah. I have a lot of wood to gather. Oh, man, this is gonna suck. <laughs> um, it's looking good, though. It's looking good. I think I want to go... Before I start gathering the wood, I want to plan out where I want my automatic tree farm to go. So, I'm gonna do that. And this is where we say rest in peace to my iron supply. We need lots of pistons. How many do I already have, I wonder? <gasps> Zero. Oh, great. That is wonderful. No. <laughs> um, I think I'll need some of those. Oh, I don't even have any repeaters either. Oh, come on. Oh, my God. Look at all the hoppers I have. Man, imagine how much iron I'd have if I could convert those back to iron. <laughs> Wait, can't I? You should be able to put those in a furnace like real life and just smelt them down, you know? Um, okay, so I need redstone as well. Oh, we won't have any problem with redstone. I need a building block. I think I'm just going to use good old stone brick. I usually use that with my redstone stuff. And I need lots of pistons. So, yeah. Oh, I might need stone for repeaters. There we go. All right, well, I'm going to go build my pistons, and then I'll meet you guys out where I'm going to build it. Look what I found. Here's our little path we made. And if you turn over here, there's a little hole here. And there's lava. Have I not never been down here? Have I not never? <laughs> have I never not? Never mind. <laughs> um, I wonder what's... Yeah, I don't think I've ever been down here. I don't know what this is or why it's here. I guess it's just a cave with some lava. <laughs> I didn't think it... Oh, can I go down there? Is that safe? I have a lot of stuff on me right now. It's not the time to die. Well, I guess I have not been down here. I have torches, though. What is it? Let me guess. Dead end. Like every other cave in this world. <laughs> nope. Uh, yeah, but it leads to a dang cave. I've been it. Wow, this is cool. This is like, oh yeah, I remember, I remember actually seeing, uh, seeing this. Wow, that goes deep down there. I remember seeing this a long time ago thinking it was a ravine and was confused if ravines were added or not. Uh, <laughs> but there's still a lot of like ore in these caves that, oh, it's dark up there. That we need to come back and get because it's, there's a lot of iron in here too. It'd be quite useful. All right, piston making time. Um, I'm going to turn that into wood. Now, should that just update? No, I don't want to type E. I want to exit my... Ah! Hey, you are. <laughs> now, would it be under here? No. Where's pistons? Oh, I, don't, I can't make them yet. Oh, red... St oh, wait. I'm missing a step. Oh, we need that. There we go. Awesome. Now, we should have pistons. 31 pistons. I will take that. <laughs> um, we might need more than that, but I'm not sure... Yeah, that'll be fine for now. All right, so where to build it? Now, I was seeing like this little divot right here um, because I'm going to be moving that stuff maybe. That's just like my little building area for now. Um, if I build it there, I can make the pistons push it. Oh, this is tough. This is tough. I don't know what I'm going to do. What if I built it inside? Why didn't I think of that? Huh. So I think that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> it makes more sense rather than having like the automatic tree farm out here and then picking up the wood and then putting it in here. You might as well just make it to where all the wood comes in here. So um, I'm coming up with a little design here. Uh, I, I think this one will work. I've I had to build a few different designs because I think this one will work because I don't have to put like a stopping block up there. Um, I think all pistons get powered from that. Yep. Awesome. If you want to know how to do that, just do a line of pistons. I got five here. Put an observer on top and then just run a signal through um, down through all the pistons. And then there you go. You got a simple thing right there. I'm going to put a dispenser right here. I got the materials for it. It's going to push it this way. And then when it gets to a certain point, of course, I'm going to have a giant wall of pistons right here. That'll push it all into one block. But I'm also trying to think of a way where it can keep getting pushed this way, where I can fill up this whole place. Oh, gosh. That's going to be tough. That's going to be a lot of pistons, too. <laughs> Uh, any day now. Okay, I think I ran into a problem already. Why isn't it growing? At this point, it just, these, th these three, I can't talk today. <laughs> these three grew just fine, and now this one doesn't even want to grow. I put at least two stacks of bone meal into that one. Like, why? 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 I thought trees were fixed where they can grow like this and use tree farms. Oh, my God. Gosh, oh, jolly Willicker. 
That sucks. <laughs> I'm going to have to think of a different design now. I don't think the observer being up top is a good idea because sometimes leaves are kind of weird. I might have to bring the observer down here and make the trunk of it activate. Oh, gosh. This is actually... Oh, I don't know. I might not even mess with this this episode, to be honest, guys. I might have to wait until in between episodes because this is taking too much time and uh, I might need to think about it, you know? Yeah. I don't know. Okay, I'll widen this path a little bit. Uh, it looks a little bit better. Um, doesn't make me feel so claustrophobic when I'm running through it all the time now. I want this path to actually lead somewhere. Um, I want to build over here in the future, of course. I just don't know what. I think I'll... Uh, should I have one path veering off towards the barn and one... Yeah, I might do that. So, it kind of curves like this. It's good to add like these kind of curves to your pathways to keep them a little bit organic. So I'm going to have it curve back around this way and go towards that hill. And then I'm also going to have one kind of curve off around to the barn. Yeah, all right, I'm going to do that. Well, it's looking good now. I'm really liking it. I need to find a way to actually put a light source in here too, though. Oh, I didn't think of that. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Aha! <laughs> Hey, it's still a transparent block. Oh, that's such a good idea. Oh, I'm going to do that now. Oh, that's going to be cool. And it's going to be awesome to come through here at night. Finally. I was always afraid to come through here at night because it's all like green. You can't tell if creepers are creeping in my sunflowers. <laughs> so, oh, this is such an awesome idea. There we go. And I'll do the rest later. Um, but as you can see, um, kind of divides into two here. This is going to lead... I don't know, just kind of out into the forest area. We might build some places out here. I'm not sure. And then, of course, it takes a turn here straight to our barn. It's like a nice organic turn here, kind of. And then it kind of suddenly turns a little this way and connects to that path and looks good. I really like it. Um, I got a lot of sunflower. Oh, I know I have a lot of bone meal over here. You know what? Let's expand the sunflower and just kind of I want it to like just fill this field. Really, I do. I don't know why I've never thought of this before. You know how earlier I just said that I might want to make that like a little flower garden right there? Well, there's another hill on the opposite side here, and I thought, why not fill this with sunflowers? Because from a distance, and even walking through it, it'll look good to see some sunflowers a little higher than others. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, yes. I kind of like that. Yeah, and then we got to fill the top up, too. Just be like a nice little mound. Um, I normally don't like terraforming my land a whole lot, like right here. But I went ahead and got rid of this awkward spot because it's just, it was just random. Um, I like keeping my terrain as natural as possible. Um, but, you know, got to make some decisions sometimes. Uh, I don't know if I should go up this high, though. Should I? All right, I'm going to fill up this whole top layer and see what it looks like. Eh, I don't know, actually. I mean, most sunflower uh, fields you see are mainly flat. But, I mean, they might have some, like, rolling hills. But those are, like, huge, like long flat hills this is like a tiny little mound i don't know if this is good <laughs> or not i kind of ran out so i didn't get to fill it all the way in but does that look all right i mean i'm gonna fill all this space in with sunflowers too at least all the way to this road on the left side here and i'm gonna go a little bit all the way yeah i'm gonna go all the way to here and then it'll stop i'm not gonna do any on this side of the road um it'll kind of stop right around in here um oh but i'm gonna update my map now i think that'll look pretty cool <laughs> Oh, did we get lucky? Oh, hi, chicken. Uh, did we get lucky? I'm saying that is because... Oh, yeah, I think we did. I think I was able to... F I need these two maps then, I think. That one and that one. All right, let's go update these. Okay, let's see how different it looks. Okay, that got a little bit bigger. All right, oh, you can see all the leaves disappearing. I finally got rid of all those. And then the barn... Oh, wait, the barn might not fit in. Oh, it kind of does. Oh, okay. Yeah, kind of does. <laughs> awesome. All right. And then in between episodes, I'm going to run through here and put torches all under uh, that part of the road here. I can't even speak. I'm trying to pay attention to this. Okay. Not a whole lot changed, but yep, there we go. Um, I think that's all I'm going to work on today. Um, I really need to do something with the front of this. I think I might put some sort of design right there. Maybe a few down here. Yeah, don't worry. That's not the final product. I guarantee that. <laughs> uh, we still got a lot to do. Oh, I got to figure out the 
this design thing too. I don't know why it stopped doing that. That was kind of annoying where it just like it was like, no, I don't feel like growing any more trees. That's what it was like. Stupid thing. Ugh. All right, <laughs> let's go do the comment question of the day. Today's comment question comes from Colin N, and they ask, which Minecraft edition is your favorite? Well, they actually asked, since you have played on Xbox, Windows, PE, and PC, which is your favorite, such as game in general, controls, special features, etc.? <laughs> um, well, that is a good question, because I like every version for their own reasons, because, I mean... I don't know if they're actually trying to, when they're bringing Unity, like unify all the versions together, they're trying to make every one of them the same, or I don't know, because it's like so many different of versions of it have more like pros than the others, and some have cons more than the others. Uh, but my favorite all in all is PC right now. It's because of the combat. Um, and uh, what else in the PC version? Oh yeah, where you can add your own like custom skies and whatnot. Like, you know my amazing blue sky, you can't do that in Windows 10. I mean, I bet someone could with a resource pack, but I doubt they'd be able to get it just like that one, because, I don't know, I mean, I think you're limited to some things when it comes to Pocket Edition and Windows 10. Um, but for Pocket Edition and Windows 10, or soon to be the Bedrock Engine, or just Minecraft, um... I'm trying to think here. <laughs> well, like things such as Fallen Over Trees and uh, the new Book and Quill, such as that. It's so cool that you can have two different pages and actually write on each page and edit things. That is a big plus in my opinion. The armor stands and all that, that is a good thing too. And it's only on this version. Um, Xbox, I think the one thing I liked about that one more than all of these... Nothing. <laughs> Probably the reason I think that's the first Minecraft I've played is on the Xbox 360 version. That's the only plus side it has for me. <laughs> Other than that, it was kind of just slow and like I would turn like this. I mean, you can turn up your sensitivity, but if you did, it would be like all wonky. So kind of had had a, I kind of had to have it on like a low sensitivity. So I'd have to like play like this, and it was just kind of oh, it was awful. <laughs> um, which is kind of weird, like I mentioned last episode, that they actually uh, got rid of the complete Xbox like engine and brought over the Bedrock engine, which is this engine, to it. So like the menu and how it plays is no longer like the old Xbox and PlayStation type of stuff. But yeah, uh, I think PC is my favorite all in all. I mean, this version has more small features that I like better than PC, but PC still wins by a little bit. Just due to like shaders and mods and well not necessarily mods just like resource packs and uh yeah and the combat system when are they gonna bring the combat system to this that is my favorite thing ever it makes it so much more fun um but yeah that's gonna be it guys thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next episode i know it's been like four days since i uploaded this video i forgot to mention this like i don't upload on the weekends so like i missed friday and then since i missed friday I have to miss Saturday and Sunday, which that's already three days. And did I miss Thursday? Too? No, I don't know. <laughs> if I miss a few days before the weekend, it's going to be a lot of days before I upload the next video, which kind of sucks because I don't upload on the weekends. But um, yeah, I'm going to try to upload a lot this coming week too. So yay! I'll see you guys there. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.